Good day everyone, my name is Rusvan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, um, I hope you're good. I hope everything's fine. We are going to be making a beautiful wave facade today, right? <laughs> today is a wave facade video. And uh, you know, we are going to be using the general model adapter. So I've quickly opened that so that, you know, we save time. Let's press U and let's go to points. Let's go to place on one plane. And a one and a two and a three and a four. Let's press MD. Let's click on these points. Let's, let's make them adaptive. And uh, let's connect it by, by line. Let's change it into a reference line. And perfect. All right, check this out. So make sure you follow along, right? We are going to be making a wave facade today. A very beautiful way back in now let's click on the point let's go back to the face because if you go to the work plane it is not going to stick we want it to stick all right <coughs> excuse me and uh, now once the the point is pasted let's go to arc and center center and arc all right let's go to set uh, let's set this and uh, you know what let's give it an, uh, a diameter of, uh, of 700 mm Perfect, right? And let's rotate it by 180 degrees and uh, let's uh, press MD. Remember, guys, use shortcuts. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry for my sore throat. Remember, short, uh, use shortcuts, right? So do not press this. Press MD instead so that, you know, we, we both master Revit together, right? <laughs> this is the purpose of my channel to master this software and uh, all the designs and all the different things we can do, right? So once that is done, very easy right nothing very special so we need four more points right the first point is going to be on the extreme end on the extreme end and then something in the middle and uh, something in the middle and uh, let's go to create let's go to radial let's set this and uh, check this out so this is one of our profiles all right nothing very hard nothing very complicated let's go to this let's change it into a reference line and uh, you know let's go to these points this has to be zero this has to be one uh, perfect all right that's zero that is one and uh, this one right here we need this to be a parameter so this is going to be the the b1 all right instance for all of them and uh, this parameter right here is going to be the the a1 and the instance and okay and okay and uh, this right here is going to be a parameter again so this is going to be the r1 all right very easy and check this out guys so our first parametric completely parametric profile is made for example if you change this to 600 and if you apply and it got changed 600 and this one is going to be 0 0.2 and this is going to be 0 0.8 and apply and check this out we have successfully made our first parametric profile now let's click on this point and guys you make sure you're following along along right because, uh, you know, I'm speaking very quick. I want everything to be fast. There are so many different things. And, you know, long videos are boring. Um, so fast is better. Fast and productive. CO to copy this. And uh, turn off constraints. Uh, turn on multiple. And uh, let's paste this. And, oh, my God. Well, why does this happen, Revit? It always turns on by itself. Um, so, again, and uh, fine. We'll go on the top. So, we need 12 of 6 profiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the six right here. Now, let's press MD again. And uh, let's click on this point. And uh, now it's just... You know the the usual adaptive family template workflow right we need to pick host um, excuse me uh, pick host and uh, this one right here this is going to be again pick host right here and the one final one come on come on come on come on come on this is going to be pick host again so here we go and uh, this one right here this is going to be the the pick host again and check this out guys what we did a mistake and i said uh, check this out and there was a mistake so pick host and uh, right here and check this out so this is you know a big part of our videos already already done now you know uh, let's click on this point let's change this to zero uh, fine that is that is sent to zero this one is going to be uh, 0 0.2 fine that is sent to 0 0.2 and uh, this one what um, this one right here is going to be uh, 0 0.4 all right that is sent to 0 0.4 this one is going to be 0 0.6 and uh, this one is going to be uh, 0 0.8 and uh, this one right here is going to be 1 which is the <coughs> excuse me uh, which is the far end extreme and check this out guys you know a big progress is already done so now uh, let's select these extreme ones the the final ones are uh, 3 and a four and a five and a six right here and let's connect it by smile let's change it into a reference line all right very easy and after that let's come right here so one and uh, <laughs> excuse me the extreme ends right uh, two and uh, come on this is three and uh, this is four and uh, where are the other two so one two three four and uh, this is five and uh, this is six uh, so now um connect and uh, check this out into reference lines so, so look at what we have done and now it's the same for these points all right so that's why i said there are so many different steps um two 
and uh, three right here make sure to press control this is the fourth one and uh, this is the fifth one and uh, this is the sixth one and you know in Revit we have to use the mouse so many times I mean there are so many different clicks that we have to do I've, I've ruined two mouses until now so one <laughs> and uh, two and uh, three right here and uh, four right here and uh, five and uh, come on six so spline and uh, reference lines and, and you know I know that uh, my workflow is correct so it is going to be connected all right so you know our, our first profile was parametric right remember we did this at the start but now we have to do the same for all of them right so make sure you follow the steps again now uh, this one uh, it is already our one because we copied and pasted but let's change this to r2 right instance fine and uh, this one is going to be is the same right so this is going to be r3 um okay and all oh, right and make sure it's instance and uh, this one right here is going to be r4 and instance this is uh, r5 instance and uh, this one right here is uh, r6 instance okay and uh, you know it's the same for these other two points right so remember a1 and b1 um so this is this one is going to be uh, the value of this is going to be what is this? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, what is this going to be? This is going to be a2 and the instance. Okay, okay. And uh, this one right here is going to be um, this was b1, right? So this is going to be uh, b2 instance. Okay, okay, perfect. After that, uh, let's come right here and uh, uh, oh my god, let me select the point. So this is uh, what is this? This is going to be um, a3 instance okay okay and uh, let's follow it up so this is a uh, this is so check this out guys our completely parametric shape is complete already and you know i fast forwarded it because uh, the steps were completely the same and there was just repetitions right so there's nothing hard check this out this is r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 r7 all of them are instance just keep on making the parameters and uh, these points right here are a1 and b1 and a2 and b2 a3 and b4 a5 and a6 and then you know a5 and b6 and all that it's followed so by the end if you go to your family types this is what uh, you are going to have R1 till R6 and all of them are 600 and uh, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 and so the A's have a value of 0 0.2 which are these points and the B's have a value of 0 0.8 which are these points so I assume you can reach until this point right there's there's no point of showing you each and every repetitive uh, steps right so now let's quickly get started with the, the actual <coughs> excuse me the actual physical body uh create forms right here and the one and the two and uh, create forms right here and check this out guys are completely uh, i mean our shape is completely uh, it's complete right it's not completely why am i confusing everything so our shape is complete now let's go to the filters one final step is uh, the the main body of the actual color uh the main color of the actual body i said it the other way around so let's go for red this time you know i don't know why today i am in a mood for some red user and appearance let's press ok and <laughs> <laughs> excuse me and uh, this is it guys so this is a completely parametric wooden facade and uh, you know we are going to test this out on the actual site this is the actual site now um you know once you have loaded the <laughs> excuse me once you have loaded the main body press cm for that component to appear and then just based on these points so you guys remember we had four adaptive points uh, and there are four points right here all right so let's go to one two and uh, three and uh, four and you know i'm gonna paste all of them and we're gonna be back right all right guys and check this out so this is our final our beautiful facade and it is not that beautiful until now but now we are going to play with the values and this one our purpose team made it a bit tilted right so now let's go to you know let's select one of them and these are individual points right so these are all the the parameters that we had there, that we had set now just play around with the values you want to make a wave facade go to 0 0.1 make this 0 0.2 make this 0 0.8 make this 0 0.7 make this uh, 0. what i don't know 5 5 and the uh, 0. Point <laughs> excuse me 7 5 and uh, check this out so this is uh, one of the variations already made and uh, you can even play with these values so our i mean you know with this you can have an idea that our profile is successful right 0 0.3 i mean it's parametrically accurate 0 0.1 and uh, this one 0 0.4 and uh, this one 0 0.35 so it's completely parametric you have to now just play around with the 0 0.25 and if you go to apply and check this out it further got edited so now you know let me make variations for all of them and we'll be back 
and this is it guys look at our beautiful wave packet right so i changed the values for all of them and this is what we have right so this is the uh, the final completely parametric wave packet and for example this one right here you know you can do whatever you want to do it is completely controllable and it's it's within our hands right so check this out only two values and there's a very very big difference so you know use them in your packets and uh, it depends on the pattern that you make if you make a different pattern you can have more uses for this right so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from the from this right i'm going to include the final rendered images in the end and uh, have a good day take care of yourself and uh, bye bye